Hi everyone, this is Paula and I am here to let you know a double Pinterest hack, a new double Pinterest hack in light of the recent changes that Pinterest made um, on their platform. And as all social media do, they're always constantly doing new updates and new features and some help and some hurt. And their late, latest update could hurt you if you don't know how to get around it. So I'm going to show you guys today how to get around their latest update and also make it beneficial for you. Okay, so one thing they did, and it's maybe not to all niches yet or all types of pins, but if you have a product pin, if you're selling a product, it may have affected you. Okay, so like this pin here, this goes to one of my blog posts and it used to be I could click right here and it would go right to my blog post and now it doesn't you can click all around here it does not go and um, the only way to get there is to click down here and that will go to my blog post now the normal Pinterest user is not going to know that they have to kind of go down here because you can't see it so you can't see any link any way to get there you have to hover and then it'll pop up um, so you're going to lose out on a lot of traffic um, if you don't do this <laughs> this hack. And I think that's why a lot of people have seen their uh, Pinterest views go down and that's because of this new hack. So even um, like if I go to my homepage, this is somebody else's pin, somebody else in my company. Um, just to show you that it, it has affected those that even go directly to a product and not a blog post. Okay, so this goes directly to somebody's replicated website. So it normally used to be, you could just click right on it, it would go right to that product. And look, now it doesn't. So you have to get on here and click. But don't despair <laughs> because I'll show you how to make it all clickable again. And not only make it all clickable, but get you some more sales. Okay, so going back to my pen, um, so you may want to go back to your highest, if you have a pin that's uh, getting a lot of views still, you'll want to go back and uh, edit them to do this hack. If it's one that's not really getting many views anymore, then don't waste your time. Okay, so back to this post. Okay, I am going to see, when you go hover, right? If you go up here to this little tag, Okay, now it enables you to add products, kind of like a little shopping store, okay? So if there are any products in your pin, you can link directly to them here, okay? So if you add do this little plus button, you can link to another pin of yours, and that will work as well if you just wanna to link to their pin, or can link to your URL. I'm gonna click on URL, my website. I'm going to go to my Lilla Rose repli replicated website for my drug sales product. Okay, here is the product, the exact item, the Tide Pool Flexi. I am going to copy the URL for that, go back to Pinterest, paste that URL right there. Okay, then I get to choose a photo to put in there. I'm going to put the largest image of the product in it. So down here you'll see if it worked. See, that's where it pops up to show you what it will look like. Okay, then make sure you click Save Product. And voila, look, you have that exact item in your pin as a shopping link. So now if people click on that, they can go right there and buy. Also make sure to click done so it saves. Okay, so now we're back at the pin. Now if someone sees my pin and they click on it, now it's going to go to that blog post that I originally linked it to. Yeah, yay, it worked. Okay, so, all right, so if someone sees it, they can also, let's see, if they click there, um, that's my own pin, so, but I'm, but someone else would be able to click on any product. So if I happen to have several products in this pin, I could link to, to several products. 
So that will hopefully get you more sales, um, make it easy for people to shop, plus make your whole uh, pin clickable again. So that is my double hack. Um, I can go through now and see, I, I did this one because see it, it performs well, so I made sure to go fix that one so that that's all clickable again. Um, if there's ones that aren't doing well, I won't mess with it. But going forward, I will definitely do this to all of my pins. So I hope this helps. Um, definitely do this hack because it could make or break, make the difference between a good performing pin and getting you sales and one that doesn't get you any clicks or sales. All right, till next time guys, bye. Be sure to click the link in the description below if you'd like to learn how to use Pinterest to get sales and team members.